Alright, welcome back. And today we are finally at Homestead. And we are going to run for the Xfinity Championship. So it's been a long run. We're going to use 91, 91, 91 because I've done a few test sessions. And it seemed like on the hard difficulty, it even if I had a car that was all 95s, it still wasn't very fast. It was somewhere between around 10th place. So on normal, I tried a few different set of numbers because I want it to be competitive. But I don't want to win the race easily. And I want the other cars to have a chance too. So what I did was I took the save data file and copied it and pasted it onto my desktop and tried a set of numbers and see how well they worked. And then if they were too high, then I put the save data file back in. It's kind of like a backdoor manual save option. So then I put it back in and said, okay, those numbers were too high. Let me lower them. But in my infinite wisdom, once I got to 91, 91, 91, I, for whatever reason, deleted the original. So the 91, 91, 91 was the lowest set of numbers that I had left to work with. So... I said, okay, what can I do to make it a competitive race? Because even on 91 across the board, honestly, it was still a little bit too easy. So, okay, back lap here. what I am going to end up doing for this race to make up for that is tightening the car up. So as the race goes on, I'm going to tighten the car up more and more to make it slow down so that the other AI cars... Um, are competitive too. So basically I found that on the hard difficulty even with a 95 overall car I was a 10th to 15th place car on this particular track. So I had to lower it down to normal All right, that's our run. Back down. and mess with the numbers to make it competitive. So you can see we're starting 11th but overall the car is still a little bit too fast. I'm gonna have to tighten it up as the race goes on to slow it down so that I don't just pull away and win the race easily because that's not what I want. So right, let's start the race and let's Going race for a championship. Hammer down, green down. So we're going to start the race and cross the line. See if we can win an Xfinity championship. It's been quite a while. We weren't able to win a truck championship. Um, Xfinity would be the next step obviously. Next season I'm going to be running the Cup Careful, Series full time. So this, I might end up going back to the Xfinity Series once I get some more money and I can buy more equipment, another car. I don't have a road racing car for Xfinity so I want to buy one of those so I can do those races. But I'm going to concentrate on the Cup Series next season. Started, prob I'll probably start a new team and then I'll have to work my way up from there. You got room. You're clear. So I'm saving as much money as I can. With this. That's why I didn't buy a road racing car for Xfinity. I want to save that money for the Cup Series because Cup line, is going to be crazy you expensive. Got You're clear Hold your line, got so I got about inside. $4 million right now to put toward my Cup Series effort. We'll see how far that gets us. But today... I want to focus on winning this Xfinity Championship. But again, I don't want to just pull away and win it easily because that, I mean, what's the point of the whole season when if you're just going to do that? Realistically, if I had kept my save file, I would have made my car probably around to 89 overall. And that would have put me in the sweet spot. 91 is a little bit too high. So to circumvent that, I'm going to tighten the car up and slow it down as the race goes on. Now, if I tighten it up too much, then that's my fault. But as you can see, we're racing right with Christopher Bell right here. There. And there's Justin Allgaier, who's in the championship four. So, there will be a couple of parts in the video where I skip ahead. Maybe there are a couple of pieces that weren't too exciting, so I just cut those out. 
and skipped ahead in the video so it wouldn't be too long. But I really appreciate everybody sticking with me. Videos are starting to get a few more views. It's tough when you're buried, when you're the new content creator, especially for a game like a NASCAR racing game. It's a very specific niche anyway. And then when you're the new guy or girl on the block, your content is kind of buried below others that have already put in the time and you know they just definitely deserve the views that they get so I'm working to get there but I'm the new guy on the block and I'm having to pay my dues right now so I just create the best content I can and hopefully enough individuals start to watch that it puts me in a good position so and it's fun I enjoy doing it I just like doing it I, and sometimes I just go back and watch my own videos because they're really exciting. Still behind Justin Allgaier here. Trying to do our best to get around. Oh, as I hit the wall right there. I find that Homestead, your car is very loose anyway. Even if you're only two clicks down from the loose side. It's still pretty loose, especially uh, loose out. Loose out of the corner, your car is pretty loose. So you have to tighten it up quite a bit to get that looseness out of it. So I'll definitely be tightening the car up as the run goes on, as the race goes on. You can see we're not too far off. I mean, it's not like we're three seconds a lap faster than everybody else, but I like it to be competitive too. We'll see what we can do to make that happen as the race goes on. Hold your line, got one inside. You got room, you're clear. Top five that stage, that'll get the job. Alright, so as you can see those few laps right there, nothing really happened, so I skipped past them. But now we're going to take a look at pit stops and see what changes we can make. But nobody else is pitting right now. I'm going to come in and pit because I want my car to be around the same speed as the other AI cars. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the car up quite a bit. 2%. That's a huge wedge adjustment. So as you can see, I went from the front all the way to the back. And now i got to make my way up through the field. Which obviously is just more exciting. So let's see what this wedge adjustment does. That's a big time wedge adjustment. Let's see how much it tightens us up and potentially slows us down as the run goes on. It just makes for more exciting racing, to be honest. I'm going to see how many cars I can pass here. Who knows, I might end up stalling out because I tightened the car up too much, but we'll see. I did need to tighten the car up, not just to slow it down, but it was pretty loose center off, so I needed to tighten it up anyway. Alright, we are clear as you can see, we're able to get through some cars. I'm glad that we're not slowing down too much yet, because that would be bad. So I'm going to get through as many cars here as I can. Now. All clear. All clear. Coming up on Josh Balicki. I'm going to go to the inside. Car there on the outside. Chad Fincham. Not quite enough room. All right, you're clear. <laughs> As I give Fincham a couple of shots and let him know I'm right, right there. High. Ross Chastain. Let's give him a shot too. Did tighten the car up a little bit. It feels a little bit better. It's still kind of loose, loose off. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but it, whoa, here we go. It's still a little loose off. So I might tighten it up some more because we're still pretty fast. I did my homework decently, but ended up accidentally deleting my save file because I was going to turn it down to make my car an 89 overall, but accidentally deleted the file. So. Lesson learned. Alright, so you 
can see we're back and we're on lap nine we were on lap four of ten there's nothing too exciting going on so I decided to go ahead and skip ahead in the video we're up behind Christopher Bell I'm gonna give him a little shot here see if we can get back up through the field we're gonna be pitting pretty soon I still feel like I'm a little bit too fast, so I'm going to tighten the car up a little bit more. Because as the run goes on, you do get looser. This is the last lap of the stage, so I'm going to come in and tighten it up a little bit. And see how we do. It's going to be the last stage of the season, so if I tighten it up too much, I might just screw myself out of a championship. There's Nora Grayson up ahead of us. He is not in the championship four. Well, he's running pretty well today. I'm going to go to the inside. And we're going to finish fourth in the stage. Stage points don't really matter at this point. It's whoever finishes the highest. So everybody's pitting, so we will too. Let's see what I can do to slow us down a little bit more. I'm going to take some tape off. And I'm going to up the wedge another huge amount. Two more percent. That's a lot. I don't know. That might be too much. But I made my bed. Now I got to lay in it. And here we go. We're going to start the last stage now. We are halfway to potential. Xfinity Championship. As I go through this first corner, I'm like, please don't let the car be too fast. I don't want to win easy. But don't let it be too slow either, because then I screwed myself. It is. It does feel a little bit slow, though. But it's definitely tightened up some more. Yeah, I can hardly... I have a hard time turning it. Now everybody's going to go by me. Now I'm getting nervous. Did I tighten the car up too much? We're going to find out. I gotta wait, 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 and give it gas. Still there. It feels a lot better, uh, obviously, but it definitely feels tighter. Car there on the inside. Now I don't have that loose off feel, but I'm also now. not very fast. Oh, as we get hit right there. Got a car coming inside Tyler now. Reddick said I'm ready to get a W. Now everybody's passing me. There comes Christopher Bell on the right, inside. Got one outside now. Michael Lynette, here comes Bell to the high side. Still got quite a ways to go, and that's behind us, Christopher Bell to the outside. I got just enough momentum to squeeze up in front of Christopher Bell, get a draft off Noah Grayson, and chase Briscoe. See how long I have to wait there to get back in the gas? So that really does work, tightening your car up. It does do something. That's a good thing. It's not like you're just changing those numbers and then you pit and nothing happens. It doesn't do anything. It really does something. It tightens it up. But it feels better. But it's slow. A little bit slower than it was, but it feels good. We'll see how that ends up as the run goes on. It should loosen up a little bit. Now, as you can see, third and fourth place aren't even in the championship four. Neither is six and seven. Now Christopher Bell's back there in eighth. But there are a couple of cars in front of us that are still in the championship that I have to pass. And for anybody who doesn't know, the championship four are designated in red on the leaderboard. And it's the highest finisher of those four cars is the one who wins the championship. I don't have to win the race, but I need to pass the other cars that have that red beside the name. I feel pretty good with where the car is, though. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. Now strategy comes into play. Do I run it hard? Do I try to save my tires? we still got a ways to go. Let's see what happens.
you can see Cole Custer, the general, is in second place. We got 20 more left. He appears to be the championship leading driver right now. So I've got to pass him. I need to get by Tyler Reddick. Then I need to make my way up there to Cole Custer. game is still lots of fun. I'm having a blast with it, to be honest. Now, obviously, it's not hardcore sim, but I don't know. I think the more simulation you get, the more things you have to do to get the results that you're looking for. This is it's a little bit sim. It's arcade, and, and it's easier to get the results that you want because there's not so many parameters that you have to change, and it's, it's fun. So You're all clear up top there. it's a good, it's good. It's a good deal overall. Now, what isn't a good deal is Cole Custer is stretching out his lead, and now I'm getting nervous. I don't think I should have tightened the car up that much. I think I made a mistake. Inside, inside. You got and it could cost me an Xfinity Championship. Got one down low and at the moment, it doesn't look You're like I'm gaining any time. There. It looks like I'm losing time. Of course, Tyler Reddick isn't helping me at all. So I'm going to see if I can catch Cole Custer. Maybe I can get some help from lap traffic. As you can see, we are continuing to lose time. We don't have that many laps left, but he is catching traffic. So we're going to see if we can catch him. And you can see right now he's stuck behind a lap car on the high side, so we are gaining time. Go, 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 go. Gain as much time as we can. We are cat we are one second, below one second back. He's stuck behind a lap car on the high side. Morgan Shepherd's on the bottom. We're gonna do everything we can to pass them right now, because this might be our only shot. We're gonna pass no Morgan Shepard. We're gonna take Cole Custer on the low side. I don't know why he's not passing that car, but he didn't. We are, oh, he's going to get right up behind us. We are past him. We're past him. And if we can hang on, here he comes back to the low side. He's not going to have enough momentum. We're going to stay forward, and we're going to keep moving. He got stuck behind a lap car, and for whatever reason, he chose not to dive beneath him. And we're going to be the beneficiary. So you can see we are in second. Cole Custer is right there behind us. There's gonna be five laps to go in the race. Five to go, you got this. Now we gotta fight some traffic. And unfortunately, the AI doesn't do very well with traffic. You got room. You're clear there. And again, I have to get through traffic. So I got a one second lead. Doesn't mean I'm gonna keep it. All these cars side by side. See, I have to slow down right there. These cars are side by side. I have to navigate this traffic carefully. Don't wanna end up getting crashed. You got room, you're clear there. All right, let's see how many laps we're coming up on. Not that many laps to go as we tap the wall right there, but we do have a little bit of a lead. 
two laps to go in the season, and I'm leading go. the championship hunt right now. Let's see if I can hang on for the finish. One more lap to go in this season. Am I going to have enough to win the championship? White Move on to driver. the Cup Series full-time. Well, even if I don't win the championship, I'm going to the Cup Series full-time. A couple of corners left to go, and we're going to see if we can win the championship. It looks like we're in a good position. And we're going to come around and we're going to get it done. We are the Xfinity Series champions. All right, top five. So I hope everybody had a good time watching this Xfinity Series championship from start to finish. I hope it was something that you enjoyed. Come on back for next season. We're going to do a full Cup Series. Obviously, my car is not going to be upgraded to the hilt. So we're probably going to be a mid-tier team next season. But we're going to get some money and continue building our car to work toward a Cup Series championship. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being part of this this season as I continue to grow. I really appreciate everybody watching the videos. Come on back next season, and we're going to go Cup racing full-time.